I know I ain't no super professional makeup artist as you could tell by my slang. I'm pregnant. So I'm on my way to being like a full-blown mom and then I'm a single mom at that. So having an easy makeup look that still looks flawless, still looks good, but it's simple to do. I don't have to spend hours doing it. It's super, super, super important. Or if you're like on the go and you just need a little confidence booster. Or if you have a hard time getting out of bed, child. If you got a hard time getting out of bed and you just need a reason to look good for the day. If you got a simple makeup routine, instantly how you feel in the morning once you do that. Your day gonna go good. You gonna be like, oh, I look too good to be depressed. I look too good to be mad or anxious or whatever. And then boom. What's happening, y'all? It's your girl, Leia Luxuries, back with another video. Today is Saturday, and y'all already know I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video. And I'm starting to think I should post Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, because I just feel like two videos not enough. I'm not sure what I want to do. Wait, well, don't even worry about that. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be my everyday routine and it's really not every day because i don't wear makeup every day every day is pretty much what you see right here and i recently got my lash extensions done got them done by my girl i'm gonna link her stuff down below so that y'all can be able to go and book with her she's in fall springs area so if you're in like dallas area or whatever you'll be able to go and book with her honestly Y'all, that's really the main part of my look. So this is basically gonna be my routine whenever I do wanna wear makeup, but I'm not like the eyeshadow type of person. I don't like to take all day with my makeup, so this video probably gonna go fast. <laughs> and I just be liking something simple, but I don't want it to alter my whole face. Like I wanna keep all my facial features, everything just smooth because I don't know. I don't like the idea of looking like a whole nother person by the time I take my makeup off. If y'all wanna do that, y'all do that. If y'all wanna transform, y'all transform. But I don't be looking for that look, not for every day. Now, when I'm, when it's celebration time or it's a birthday or something like that, of course, we need to transform. I need to look like I don't know myself. To start my makeup process, y'all, I use Core Perfecting Toner. This is the Witch Hazel by Dickinson's. You can get this from Target. And I pretty much just, this is to get all that oil and stuff off of my face so that I make sure that I'm starting with something clean because I have combination skin. So, like, my nose will be dry all right here, but then the sides of it will get oily. And then it'll be dry right here and dry on my forehead. Like, I don't know. This pretty much evens everything out. It helps with my dark marks because I do have that a lot, which is why I be having to wear makeup in the first place because baby, if I didn't have these dark marks, I wouldn't be wearing no makeup, honestly. I would just sit here and do my lashes, do my brows whenever it's looking a little skimpy, and then I'd be on my way. Not knocking nobody who do wear makeup. If y'all like more makeup, if y'all like that type of look, then teach me because that's another reason why I really don't do it you know how them girls be like oh you don't like it because you can't <laughs> you're right <laughs> I can't and I be trying like different eyeshadow looks but they never come out right for me they never come out smooth the most my eyeshadow look would do for me is like if I'm doing anything with browns browns I'm good color ain't no way boy so after I do that let it dry a little bit and then I take this Mario but this you and this is the aloe, cucumber, and green tea. It really don't matter. Any one of them Mario Badesky sprays. And I pretty much spray it. I also use this as a setting spray. But that's only because I don't have my um, Charlotte Tilbury. I think that's how you say it. Charlotte Tilbury. That is literally the best setting spray I ever had. Charlotte Tilbury. It like my makeup didn't move. My makeup didn't transfer. It was literally the best makeup I had ever had, y'all. And I ran out. And I never went back to get some more. <sighs> Annoying. First, I'm going to start with my brows. 
and this is the oh my goodness not that I held it upside down this is the Morphe brow dip this is in the Java color Java I hope I'm saying it right Java and this is pretty much the only brow stuff I use now I used to use the Anastasia brows oh but what I like more than this is their pencil but I ran out of the pencil so I got this so both work the same but I like the pencil a lot better and then this is their Morphe it's the angled brush and then it has the spoolie on the end so yeah but I tried the Anastasia dip brow that's what I did use originally but my only thing about that is one it dry out super quick it's not forgiving whenever it dries out and I know people say oh we'll put a little oil or something like that in there so that didn't work for me at all I'm just stuck with this expensive brow stuff that dried out real fast I like the Morphe it's um creamy but not too creamy to where you know how sometimes it'll move like I don't like that so basically as you can see my brows are pretty full which thank god they feel back in but the ends is pretty much where I be trying to fill it in and then I try to make a sharper arch right here and then as far as my front I pretty much just leave it and that just be it so yeah I don't really be doing it. and I would cut this so that it's sharper but I'm just gonna position it better because I don't feel like cutting it right now so yeah I just dip my brow pencil I dip my angle brush in there and then I just do my brows I can't talk when I do this part because I need to I need to make sure they end up like at least relatives because sometimes they look like friends <laughs> y'all see my little setup <laughs> no no let me explain myself because I didn't know y'all could see that oh I don't give a damn <laughs> I be having to look like I got a mirror right here so I be having to look at like different mirrors just because I learned this in hair school well kind of I learned this from my daddy too like cuz I used to cut hair so whenever you're cutting hair whatever you see with your eyes like one that ain't really what it is your eyes will lie to you so what my dad taught me to do is to like look in hair school or whatever they taught me to look at a different mirror and it will show you like the truth like automatically just to make sure that you're not tripping with your eyes because if you're looking at it from one position for a while you're gonna think all right that look right and then the minute you look in another mirror you'll be like who did that i did my eyebrows and then if y'all seen i filled in the tail made it sharp and i filled in that arch and then what i did in between is like if it's like a little sparse or whatever then i just use the leftover product and I went in and made the front part like a little bit more boxy. If y'all can see that. Like, not giving it like brush strokes, but just giving it more like a box shadow look. And then when I, uh, what's it called? When I shape it, that's what I'm forgetting. When I shape it, then you'll see. Like, it'll just come out better. To do a little bit extra, I have this Morphe. What would you call this? It's the translucent brow gel. So say like how y'all seen like I got hairs that are a little bit too long. What I'll do is basically take this brow gel. I know some people use lash glue and all that, but I'll take the brow gel and I'll pretty much just put everything in place. Let me use the mirror because I can't see nothing out the camera. But I'll basically put everything in place so that it don't move. <laughs> that's it because <laughs> honestly my brows they don't move like that like how some people say oh the hair or whatever i don't really have that issue but to prevent it forever from happening altogether, that's the step i do and then i just let it dry and then that be that 
The way I carve out my brows is I use foundation. It depends on what look I'm going for. So if I want it to be arched and I'm going to be putting on foundation and doing the full face, then I'm going to use an actual concealer. But if I'm just doing lashes, brows, lip gloss, then I'll use a foundation that matches my skin tone. That way it's not a dramatic look on my eyebrows and my lashes and then nothing on my face. I use Juvia's Place. This is the best freaking concealer because I can't stand when concealer look dry and crusty because I already told y'all I struggle with dryness just a little bit. So yeah, this is in the number 16 concealer. And all I do, literally, another reason why I love her products is because a little go a long way. And literally, I put like a dot under my eyebrow. And then, let me see, is that enough? Yeah, just a little bit under my eyebrow. And then I'll use that and I'll carve it out. For the top of the brow, honestly, I'll go in with this same brush that I just used, just because I like the look of a little bit of the highlight and then a little bit of the foundation. So the foundation that I use is also Juvia's Place because this is their velvet matte. And when they say velvet matte, it's literally velvety matte. So I don't like the dewy look. And so this doesn't, this gives me perfect matte without being super dry. Like, I can't explain it. It's, and you don't need a lot. So what I do, as you can see, I'll be using it. I'll like push it up a little bit to where it's like a little bit peeking out. And then I'll just tap the top to where I have some on the brush, just a little product on the brush. And then what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll carve out the top of my eyebrow. Like when I used to put foundation on my forehead, it always looked a whole different color. It always looked gray. It always looked completely just dry or ugly. It was always like that. Now recently, I don't have that problem anymore. So I'm able to like actually put foundation on my forehead now, which is crazy, but I still don't like you'll see i only put a little bit but that's pretty much it for the brows if i didn't have on lashes i would throw on some lashes the same brush y'all see i'll be using the same old thing i'm gonna take this juvia's place and i don't know if i said it already but this is the foundation in savannah 440. do i prime no <laughs> just to just to put that out there i do not prime and i'm not using a lot of product like i'm using this much a little dollop or whatever and then I'm just putting it mainly on this part under my eyes. And then what I'll do, because this part is darker, I'll just blend it down. And then I'll put it on my chin. Above my lip, get more. And then I'll put it on my nose. And then I go in, I'll either go in with a brush or I'll go in with a beauty blender. Um, I'm gonna stick to my brush just because I always use this brush. So this is the Real Technique 200. And so this brush is a little dense. I just washed it so it's a little wet, a little damp or whatever, which I ain't mad at. I mean, still gonna make it look good. And I just press this in. I don't wipe it, I press it in. Just because I kind of want it to stay where it's at. And then I'll go in a little bit on the side. But I focus mainly in this area. And then whatever excess is on the brush, then I'll use it for my forehead and down here. And y'all see like the match. But all those dark spots is gone. And I did not have to use a lot of foundation at all like Juvia's place knew what she was doing I'll take that same concealer so I'll take a little dot like this and that's it and then I'll do the bridge of my nose and that little tip and then that's it 
I don't highlight my forehead because like I said, I'm traumatized from when I used to put makeup on there and it looked so freaking white. Like it just looked ugly. If y'all could have seen it, it looked ugly. I'm gonna use my beauty blender. This is the Real Techniques one and it has this bottom piece and all that. When I go on the bridge of my nose, I try to keep all that product right there and I don't blend it as much. Just because I love the highlight look on my nose. Now that is the only thing that I be trying to transform just a little bit, like a little bit. Of it. That's the contour and then once I con, not that is not no contour child, that is highlight. Oh, y'all can tell I do not do makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna go in underneath with the Morphe Banana Rich Bacon Set Powder. And I, I do one of two things. I either tap it with this Real Techniques 400 brush and just dust it. Or if like, you see how I didn't have a lot of highlight, then I will actually take a beauty blender and I'll bake. So I'm gonna take this Real Techniques 400 brush and I'm just gonna dust it off. And when I'm dusting it, I'm basically dragging it down a little bit too. Just so that it's kinda like setting my whole face. And it gives me such a flawless, like, matte look. Like, I really like it. Now, do it stop the creasing? No. <laughs> now that that's done, the last thing I'm gonna do, the well, second to the last thing I'm gonna do for my face is I'm gonna go in with this Butter Bronzer. This is the Sunset Bronzer. Physicians Formula Brand. And then I go in with this Okay, I stole this brush from my mama. So, a fluffy brush. <laughs> and I'll just, I go heavy with this because it's very close to my skin color. And I just contour. Like, it gives such a light difference. But, like, I'm skinny, y'all. That is, as you can see, I'm skinny. So, I don't need to, I don't have, like, a fat face. So, I don't be, like, I feel like if I contour, like, harshly, I'm gonna look like a skeleton. And I don't wanna do that. So. <laughs> and so that's the contour. And then for my nose, like I said, I like my nose snatched. So I'll take this Morphe brush. It has no number on it, but it looks like this. Oh, y'all shaking my bed. Anyways, and I'll go down the bridge of my nose like and I'll go underneath it and then do the same thing on the other side that snatch look like and then I don't <laughs> wait till I put a highlight on this move alright so that's pretty much my face now like I said I'm gonna go back in with this same uh, Mario Badescu just because I don't got nothing else, y'all. But I'm really not doing nothing. I'm not going nowhere. Juvia's Place it typically does not move anyways, whether I set it or not. Or if I use the setting powder or not, Juvia's Place, it sticks to my face. I don't know. I don't have like a moving issue with the whole product in itself. So, I spray that on. It kind of puts everything together. And then this is pretty much the face look. And what I'll do is I'll take my, this is my favorite, 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 favorite highlight, y'all, we almost done. And so this is the Master Chrome 100 Molten Gold, and it's all broken up and messed up, but I refuse to throw it away because baby. And so I'll dab it on my finger, and then I'll put it at the tip of my nose. Bow. And then if I'm feeling extra, I'll do a little bit on the bridge, but the tip of my nose, that's where I need it to shine. That's where I like it. I used to 
uh, do the whole cheek and all that, but I really like the look where my cheek is just highlight and contour. To finish up the eyes, say if I feel like my eyes are a little too, like if it's too bright underneath and you know I have these super dark lashes, what I'll do is I'll take this Kiss Luxury Intense Eyeliner, it's the retractable one in black, and I will go in lightly. Like I do not go heavy with this at all. And I'll just put it right there on my waterline. Then after I put the eyeliner, I can use a little bit like this or I can go in with a little bit of this Lash Princess False Effect. And this is honestly my favorite mascara. I don't I have I don't have a lot of experience with different mascaras just because I'm not a mascara type of person. Clearly, I only put it on my bottom lashes because I'm typically always wearing false lashes cuz I just ain't got no lashes period. Last but not least, y'all. We just almost done with this everyday Makeup look like I be so happy when I be finishing this look because it's so simple, like it's so easy to follow. Everybody can do it. So I go in with this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Top Three Intense um, Lip Liner. They call it Lip Cheat. And y'all, this is my favorite, 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 favorite lip liner ever. I don't want to meet a dude and then he's like, ooh, your lips so big and juicy because I overlined it. And then I take a, take it off and then he's like, <laughs> they, make the same, they make the same lips I met you with. It's like I got two lip lines, so I really, <laughs> I just be picking which one to follow. <laughs> Bro, I sound dumb. Like, I bet if a makeup artist is watching this, I sound like I don't know what I'm doing. But I do. I know what I'm doing for me. <laughs> this may not be for you, but it's for me. Not that my lips are a little crispy. And so, now, this is my new lip trick, y'all. Just because I realized how much I love when my lip is darker at the top and lighter at the bottom. I don't know why. I be feeling like I'm looking like Scar. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But, NYX. Butter gloss, chow. This is what you need. So what I will, I go in with the BLG 13 fortune cookie color. And so this is like a light pink color. And so I'll.
if you like this video please like and comment if you feel like this is the makeup look for you if you enjoyed this tutorial comment if you didn't enjoy this tutorial and you would want to see a different look comment that too i mean you do what you do and i will ciao and i will see you all in my next video whether that's gonna be monday or wednesday but i'll see y'all so subscribe baby